So once, um, when I spent a long time in the hospital, I obtained a bootleg copy of a performance by our next guest, and it gave me much pleasure. I grew up playing classical piano, and so his unusual and irreverent style was very exciting to me. I was shocked, actually, at how he tangled with the piano, and at other times, him and the piano seemed to gang up and wrestle with the music itself. And I recently saw him perform a concert on one of the public street pianos, and he seemed to love the challenge of the keys that wouldn't work and the off-tone uh, uh, notes. And so he hosts concerts at his, at his home now, and it's really a Vancouver cultural icon that you can actually experience and you won't want to miss. So, but, but here is one of the rare times he's performing outside of his home. So please welcome Paul Plimley. Thank you, Sam. Um, and I actually, I do play outside my home, uh, but, uh, but I have, Sam is partially right in that I have um, done and featured a lot of uh, uh, house concerts where I live. But uh, tonight, as we are gathered here, I want to share a moment of music making with uh, you, and perhaps what I'll, I'll, I'll do, I'll just give a very uh, a brief um, preliminary information as to um, how I came to align myself with the direction that I have taken in terms of, uh, you know, what I sound like, uh, what are my uh, uh, goals, characteristics of my music, but to go back to the beginning, I started out being a huge fan of radio. Radio was very big, and at the time, of course, there were no computers, personal computers, and you can trust me on that, and, uh, but I was very much glued to the radio. I played piano, uh, started at age seven, uh, quit for a few years at 11, took up a little guitar, and um, but 15 came back and it's been sort of evolving and uh, 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 going ahead and rolling in motion forward ever since. So I gravitated towards my own uh, vantage point and alignment with uh, the sort of twin pillars, uh, I call, of music, composition, and improvisation. And I think that no matter what we do, whether it's writing a little song, or writing a, a large symphonic piece, or if we just play a, a couple of chords, or we're improvising and uh, playing without reference to sheet music or predetermined thoughts, somehow so much falls under that fabric of composition, improvisation. And as I'm saying, uh, you know, each person who plays music has some tonal personality characteristic. So I think that's probably enough at this stage. And I think what I'll do is I'll just go over uh, with you uh, the sort of genesis of a piece of music which I have been writing. And it all started with me sitting down at the piano and having uh, no a, a basic uh, thought or inspiration. And, uh, but it seemed that I started to play these chords and I wrote them down on the paper and they're very simple. And they are a sequence of chords that just went like this. And then on to another chord. Etc, etc.
So that was the beginning. And I knew that things would undoubtedly change. That was my starting point. And with that in mind, I then uh, devised a melody, and I kind of wanted something that was perhaps a little off the beaten track. Um, uh, uh, I, those chords could lend themselves, the, the ones I played, could lend themselves to a melody, let's say, that belongs in our uh, sort of treasured repository of major scales, uh, modes, uh, uh, blue scales, what have you. But I, but I kind of wanted something uh, that was a bit more on the atmospheric side and something that uh, maybe did perhaps, uh, you know, shoot off the page a little bit. And so I came up uh, with uh, what I'll play for you now. And you'll hear uh, just a small dose of some of these chords because, you know, music evolves sometimes uh, of its own inner volition. It just kind of takes you where perhaps it's meant to be taken. So, oh, I should say one more thing. I wanted to say one more thing. Yeah, yeah. Before, uh, before I play, I wanted to say that uh, that uh, the music that I'm most drawn to, uh, many uh, music traditions around the world I love, but very much American music, uh, jazz, uh, jazz uh, blues, R&B, funk, etc., and then the European classical music. So here we go now. Thank you. 
Thank mm -hmm. you.